Video game physics engines are relatively nascent technologies, but we can already see the tremendous impact they've made on the industry. Some trends have revealed themselves, giving us a good idea about what may be next. First, it is worth noting that game physics are not only important to the serious game space, but they are also becoming popular in the casual game space as well. Perhaps the most popular example is crayon physics, a game built entirely around the concept of drawing working 2D physics puzzles. The importance of the physics engine to the serious game industry and the gaming experience cannot be overstated. Ever increasingly, AAA video gamers have an expectation for greater realism in their games, both visually and behaviorally. Companies like Havoc and NVIDIA continue to extend their engines to provide increasingly elaborate possibilities. There are three areas of focus in physics that we will highlight. These areas include destructible environments, secondary motion, and lifelike character building. Physical destruction in video games is a major selling point and has been one of the biggest beneficiaries of physics engine evolution. Over the last several years, environmental destruction has evolved from primarily predefined animations triggered at specific points in gameplay to today in which designers enable game objects to break in a realistic manner using physics. The question is how much physics should be utilized as Nadeem Mohammed, NVIDIA Physics product manager, suggested, gamers will soon expect to see destructible environments which have real game impact, perhaps opening up new paths within the game and highly realistic responses to the forces applied by different weapons. The implication here is that the game players can impact their individual game experience more than ever based upon the actions they take. Today, the available paths through a game's levels are carefully planned and defined by the game's designers. As the properties of more objects become physically simulated, there is the real possibility that the player could alter the predefined path through a game level. Developers will have to think through and design more holistic worlds to account for the potential free roaming of a player through levels. For gamers, the added emotional impact can be substantial. The topics we have discussed in this section only skim the surface of benefits, challenges, and implications for today and the future of environmental destruction and gameplay. More focus is also being placed on creating greater realism in the behavior of secondary character elements as a way to add cinematic value to a game's character animation. This concept is known as secondary motion. Secondary motion refers to the coordination between layered character systems such as hair and cloth with a character's body movement to create accurate overall character motion. The impact secondary elements such as cloth and hair have to a character's movement is minimal and potentially adds little value to the overall gameplay, yet can add significantly to the visual stimulation a game can provide. Dave Gargan, principal engineer at Havoc, expects secondary motion to become a buzzword over the next couple of years because secondary motion can be so visually convincing. As photorealism becomes more of a reality in animation, the need for greater realism in human character responses to the game environment increases. Consumers are being conditioned by the wellspring of increasingly sophisticated animated films of the last 10 years to expect realistic human reaction and representations of emotion and physical attributes, such as smooth body motion, muscle flexion, sweat, and even lifelike eyes that emote. Inaccuracies are more obvious and off-putting as they take us out of our immersion into the film world. This expectation of realism in human characters has crossed over to the video game world as well. Developers are relying more and more on procedural animation techniques over predefined canned animation or motion capture techniques to portray realistic character behavior. Procedural animation uses physics algorithms to automatically generate animations in real time, allowing characters to react to different stimuli such as physical surfaces or forces against their body. Natural Motion's Euphoria engine is leading the industry in dynamic motion synthesis, which refers to the application of these techniques, factoring in muscle and motor nervous system responses to stimuli in order to affect realistic character response. Backbreaker, a football title, has been hyped for its ability to showcase real-time human movement and completely unique tackles, rather than the scripted tackles that game players have been exposed to previously. 
The prospects for video characters to appear lifelike are very real, and as the capacity to accurately simulate realistic looks and behaviors increases, developers need to be cognizant of the potentially negative emotional response of players to the game characters. A study in robotics has demonstrated that as androids become increasingly human-like, a level of familiarity is reached when people begin to exhibit positive emotional responses and empathy toward the android. However, there is a point of inflection where the response becomes quickly negative when a look, movement, behavior, or some other action is counter to expectations. This dip in the graphical representation of positive or negative familiarity is the source of the name the Uncanny Valley Theory. There are clear signs that the industry is already driving toward greater realism and more direct interaction between humans and video game characters, as exemplified by Lionhead Studios' work on Milo and Kate for Project Natal. As characters become more lifelike, the risk articulated by the Uncanny Valley theory is real and could have serious impact on a game and the industry's success. As we've shown, physics has had a tremendous impact on the video games of today. But only time will tell if physics will continue to be the driving force behind video game development for the future.